At this point, we all know that Warzone's matchmaking is a big joke. But if you're using the best VPN for Warzone, it's quite easy to get yourself some bot lobbies and climb the ranks. That's why I'm here with a quick but detailed tutorial on how to use a VPN for Warzone and which options are the most reliable ones. Just to be clear, I'm talking about getting bot lobbies with a VPN for Warzone. This way you can enjoy easy matches while climbing the ranks. Using a Warzone VPN, I can just choose a location with a different time zone to benefit from having fewer players active at the moment. This way I'll have a much better chance of getting Warzone bot lobbies, so let me run you through the process. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using the NordVPN Warzone Combo, since it's the easiest VPN provider to pick up. First First of all, you'll need to create an account and open the NordVPN app using your new profile. Now on this map right here, there's over 5,800 servers in 60 countries, but you won't need all of them. I'm most interested in the European servers since there are a lot of Warzone data centers and it's far enough away from the US to use the time difference. There's also a lot of US servers, which is good for European players. I've tried connecting to the EU servers and my ping was low enough to not worry about lag or slowdowns. That said, there are other options you can try. A lot of players reported that servers in Egypt and Singapore are great if you want bot lobbies. While NordVPN does have servers in Singapore, connecting to Egypt would require a different VPN. One great gaming VPN provider with servers in Egypt and Singapore is Surfshark. Since it covers 100 different countries with over 3,200 servers, there are way more locations you can try to get the best matches. You can also get both providers with a special discount through the link in the description down below. Having a lot of countries to connect to plays nicely in the next method of finding bot lobbies, using time difference. It's generally easier to find lobbies with lower ranked players at an inconvenient time, such as, I don't know, like 5 a.m. Connect to a country with a fitting time zone and enjoy your matchmaking. I even found a way to make this option more effective. Disabling crossplay is one way to reduce the number of players that could match with you. Fewer players means more chances for bot lobby. And if you play with friends using any of the tricks I've mentioned, it can land you bot matches much easier. Regardless of which way you're going with, you'll have to use the best VPN for Warzone to select a location, just like that. After the connection is established, which will only take a moment, let's ensure it works as intended. Using a website like What's My IP IPaddress.com can show my current IP address, and as long as it coincides with the server I've chosen, everything is great. That said, you need to be mindful of the ping. Connecting from the US all the way to Singapore or Egypt could make your ping quite a bit higher, even if you're using the best VPN for gaming. That said, as long as you use nearby US servers, you'll get a very good ping and speed. I checked all the available US locations to make sure of that. Well, now you're sufficiently prepared to tackle bot lobbies in Warzone. Just grab a VPN and jump in. In conclusion, as long as you're using the best VPN for Call of Duty Warzone, you'll never need to wonder how to use a VPN for Warzone. You can connect to a different EU server or location in Egypt or Singapore, or you can choose a location with a very different time zone for better matchmaking. Just grab a bunch of friends, turn off crossplay, and enjoy your bot lobbies. And if the only thing you're missing is the VPN for Warzone, check the link in the description to get the best VPN discount accounts for providers I've personally played with. Thank you for watching, I hope this video was useful, and I will see you in another video very soon.